Hi, this is Charlie Page, owner of the directory of eZines, and I want to share with you how to get more opens and clicks from your emails. Whether you're sending emails directly or you're buying solo ads or you're doing some kind of a joint venture partnership, you want the highest number of opens and clicks from your emails possible. So let's take a look at how master marketers get that done. Number one, you want to focus on short powerful subject lines. Subject lines are headlines. That's how you have to think about your email subject line. You have to think about it like writing a headline. Let's take a look at some good and some bad. First, the bad. Now, here's a screenshot from my email account, and I'm going to pick on Walgreens because my dad worked for Walgreens for 52 years, so I feel like I can pick on them. This is proof that big companies get it wrong. Look at this. Your frequent customer number was selected for a courtesy $50 Walgreens charge card. Hey, that's a great subject line in the content part of it, right? $50 for free. But if they'd have shortened that down to 50 free $50 Walgreens card, it would have been better. Okay, skipping down to the next red box. I mean, I blurred out some of this stuff because you just don't need to see it. But look at this next red box complimentary test drive with a used SUV in your town, choose two of three local offers. How confusing is that? They're making like three different points here. It's a complimentary test drive, it's a used car, it's in my town, and now I have to choose two of three local offers. That, that's just so confusing, it's never going to work. Okay, ugh, let's clear the palette and go on to the good. Here's the good. I'm going to choose some top online marketers, people who really, really know email marketing, and show you what they're doing. This is a friend of mine named Charles Kirkland. This guy's a genius when it comes to paid traffic and marketing online. Love this guy. Take a look at some of these subject lines. Justin Brooke, want my help, 100 years or 24 hours to live. That's a curiosity approach. Facebook ads are not working. That's a fear of loss approach. 2650 in native ad coupons, that's a promise of gain approach. But look at how short these are. I mean, it's the second to the bottom one that's long for coaches, consultants, and service professionals. See there, down the second one from the bottom? But that is targeting specific groups. So this is a really good set of subject lines here. Now, when you find something that works, stick with it. This is one of the most common problems I see when people write emails for solo ads and email marketing is they'll try something and it'll work a little bit and they think, I'm going to make it better, and they completely change it. I want to show you a piece of marketing from a friend of mine named Chris Luck. This guy's a genius. I mean, he really is when it comes to marketing online. And look at how consistent he is. Look at this. This is a, a, a set of emails I've received over a period of probably a month, right? Five tips to sell your products on Instagram. Instagram. Five simple steps. Seven, twi seven Twitter contests. On and on it goes. It's just so consistent. Now, your first 50 words matter most in the email body. So the first tip is this. Shorten your subject lines. Make them more powerful. Next, pay really close attention to the first 50 words you write in the email itself. Those words matter most because they show up, as you have seen already, in the email program. Here is an example from Todd Brown. This man knows marketing funnels better than anybody on the planet, and so I follow his email series because I like to learn from him. Great, great person too. Look at this one in the red box. The one weekly appointment I never miss. Now that's a great subject line because it creates curiosity. But look at what follows. You see where it says, this is in my Google Calendar marked in red? That's the first line of the actual email because Gmail will, dis will display not only your subject line, but the first line of your message. That's why the first 50 words of your message really matter most. I'm curious about what's in his Google Calendar, aren't you? This guy's super smart. All right, here's Chris Luck again. He's doing the same thing with his first 50 words. Notice this red box. Here are his beautiful subject lines. Notice this red box. He's beginning with a question. Did you know that Twitter is this? How would you like to easily do that? See, this is very consistent, repeatable, scalable marketing. And that's what you and I need in our business. We need to do the same thing the same way over and over and over again. Okay. Here are a couple of other tips. Number one, 
use action words don't use passive words you definitely want to have action life excitement in your subject lines and in your emails next use their name where you can but don't mail merge in to the subject line their email address that makes you look like a spammer I get lots of spam hundreds and hundreds a day maybe a thousand and uh, many of them will have my email address in the subject line like dear email address you've just won five million dollars that tells me that person doesn't know me at all they just happen to have harvested my email address somewhere and they're just spamming me use their name if you have it but don't use their email address in the subject line or the body of the email and ask a question this is very very important there's just something in human nature that wants to answer a question so if you ask a compelling question people will often pay much more attention to your emails. Now, if you follow the advice in this little video, I believe your subject lines will get better, your email marketing will be better, and you'll get more opens and more clicks, and that's what you really, really want, right? That's what I want, because we pay money and we spend time to send email out. Let's make it work the best we can. So do you want more tips like this? If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, like it, leave a comment, however you want to do it. But if you want more tips like this, if you find this to be good, actionable content, you can get an entire course from me for free called Traffic and Conversions with Ezine Marketing. I own the directory of Ezines I have for 15 years. And I've been around the block when it comes to easy marketing. I'm going to teach you what I know inside this traffic and conversions course. Where can you get it? You get it at charliepage.com. That's my main website where you can find out everything that I do, read my blog, all that type of stuff. So charliepage.com. Go there, get the traffic and conversions course, get on my newsletter if you want to, leave a comment. Would love to meet you. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day.